going on, freaks and geeks? MonsterCast back here with another WTF Paranormal. How y'all doing? Rick? Uh, tonight we are talking about what's been spotted over Chicago lately. Um, there's been multiple reports over the last three months. I think it's been eight reports. I think it's more than that now. I think it was eight reports, and then there's been a couple more this month. There's been like three right in a row or something. Yeah. Um, of? Uh, supposedly, we're talking about the Mothman tonight. Which is pretty crazy. I didn't, I, I didn't expect to see the Mothman pop up anytime soon, personally. Um, I really don't know much about the Mothman, Rick. Uh, the Mothman is, it goes back to the 60s in West Virginia, Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Um, and it's, the basicality of it is it's a seven foot humanoid being. Okay. Uh, that mostly is attributed to looking like an owl. Okay. Not a Mothman, the newspapers dubbed it the Mothman. Right, but it looks more like an owl, and uh, I know eyes. it has glowing red eyes, yeah. but they say that there's a chance they might be just reflective red they eyes. They could be. But, so, but we don't know. And they're a harbing, they're, they're supposed, supposedly a harbing, harbinger of doom of some sort. Every time a Mothman has been spotted, something bad has happened. And there's usually a series of sightings leading up to that something bad happening. Now, what's really odd about these sightings is one of the first ones reported two of the creatures coming together. Yeah, that's weird, and they said that they kind of did a a dance in the air, almost like a, not, not a dance, like, like a mating a, ritual. Like a mating ritual, yes. So, a possibility that there's a male and a female? Yeah, I mean, but when before has there been more than one... Sighted. Sighted at a time. I don't think there ever has been. I think this is unprecedented the first time. Um, I've never heard of it before. But looking at these descriptions, what if we're not dealing with the Mothman? Because these descriptions don't all match the Mothman. Uh, they, they talk about bat-like wings, and they say they're very bat-like. I mean, heck, what if they're just those giant flying the foxes? Bats, yeah. I mean, those things, the flying foxes are huge. Yeah, I'm looking through stuff to see how the original ones, 10-foot wingspan, glowing red eyes. But there's another thing, is one of these spotting, one of these spottings was a, uh, they had yellow eyes. Right, and that's why that's why I wanted to talk about the eyes a little, because the eyes were always reported red. But a lot of people did wonder if the red was a ref light reflection thing, or whether they actually glowed red. So what if their eyes do kind of glow a yellow color until the light hits them? You know, that one yeah. time it just happened to be in darkness, somebody saw a different color. Or is that story the oddball... Maybe, maybe not the true, not not the false story. All all the reports up until this first one saying yellow, from my knowledge, have always been red. Have always been red. But there's another thing that I discovered while looking this up. They are recording a documentary on the Mothman. Right. So we kind of started to wonder if maybe, just maybe, this might be some sort of viral marketing campaign. Or uh, movies coming out, this, let's get some exposure for it. Right. Where can we do this best at? And Chicago just happens to be that place this time. You now, know? are we saying that's what's happening? No, we, we do take these claims legitimate as legitimate claims. It's just we can't tell you because it could be viral marketing with this movie starting to pay, take place. I know Lon Strickler has looked into these and feels that there's a couple legitimate and there does seem to be an an area like you can draw a circle around it um so it does seem to be one area but to me that screams more animal it's not all over the city it's just in this tiny unless that's just the area where something's going to happen you know what i mean 
Um, whew. This is a tough one. I mean, and there's no physical evidence of these. There's no pictures taken. No, unfortunately, any, this no is... No video of these reports. I mean, if there is, maybe we can find it or somebody can help find it for us. Yeah, because we would love to see some physical ev evidence of Mothman. Sorry, guys. I slipped up there. Um, what do you guys think of these reports? I, I think that they deserve some more looking into, personally. I'd like to maybe get a hold of some of these people. Yeah, maybe we can get an interview or something. Yeah. Uh, and, and you guys, like we said, if, if you can find any physical evidence, and not, I mean, we've seen physical evidence of Mothman in the past. Supposed. Supposed evidence. physical evidence, and it's no good. I've never seen real physical evidence of Mothman. Um, so if you guys know something that might be legit, send it our way. All right, everyone. That's just kind of a touch on Mothman. We're going to keep looking into these, see if we can find some more information. Yeah, we just thought it was real interesting that there'd been so many sightings so recently, so we wanted to get it out there. Ch Chicago has been kind of a hotbed for it, because over the last few years, there's been upwards of 15 sightings. Right, it's it's been pretty crazy. So what's going to happen in Chicago? Yeah. Maybe well, nothing. The Cubs won the World Series. That's... That's Kinda. not nice. They <laughs> <laughs> <I> did. <laughs> I know, but it was the the way you said it. Like we were talking about a disaster. Well, I mean, don't you don't you deserve one once in a while? <laughs> it only took 108 years. Right? Come on, man, give him one. Um, but yeah, maybe he's just there celebrating. I guess. Uh, yeah. Maybe it's not a disaster. All right, that that we're done here. Everybody right. have a good night. Let's look into this Mothman watch, see what we can find. Everybody uh, stay creepy. Night.